don't know if you guys know, but I'm uh, I'm all over the gossip sites, you know, because uh, a little birdie told me during game day morning, yesterday morning, keep an eye out for Taylor Swift at Arrowhead Stadium. And I dropped that nugget on NFL game day morning, and then boom, whoosh, went everywhere. What can I tell you? And then sure enough, who showed up next to Mama Kelsey? But Taylor Swift herself. Let me tell you something. A lot of conversation going on in Kansas City about Travis Kelsey's knee. That's a long time ago. Now we're talking about Travis Kelsey, the superstar dating the most famous woman on planet Earth. And I'll just say this. He once upon a time said, hey... I perform, I saw you perform in Arrowhead. How about you come to Arrowhead and watch me perform? And sure enough, it happened yesterday. Maybe the greatest speaking of something into existence in the history of speaking in existence. And the ultimate personification of you miss 100% of the shots you don't take. Wayne Gretzky's never been more right. I don't know that this. that saying applies to someone in Travis Kelsey's position, though. Dude, do you know how many people have probably reached out to her and say, what do you think? Yeah. What do you think? My client is interested. I mean, this is the sort of thing that happens in the world. Come on now. Now, and I know there are some folks who are thinking, you know, maybe it's not. On the up and up. On the up and up or for real, but I don't know if. Kelsey would be spending this much time on this sort of stuff. He's got a playing season going on, don't you know? And I think she's kind of fine on the whole publicity front. I think she's got it. If only someone predicted this on Friday. That's what Chris Brockman's here for. We're all over this Bam. thing. Back here on our radio show, talking on our Roku feed. Now one big happy family talking about the new addition to the Kelsey inner circle. Taylor Swift. My kids have never been more interested in Kansas City Chiefs football in their entire lives. They're locked in. <laughs> and she's dropping F-bombs next to Mama Kelsey when the Chiefs are scoring touchdowns. She did the full Brady. LFG from T-Swift. <laughs> she wins. Go ahead. And again, you know, I'm, it's not like I've got my finger on the pulse of this thing. I haven't spoken to Kelsey in a while. He's just, you know... He's busy. He's just talking in my my Instagram feed at me. So, Travis, I say to you, I salute you, sir. According to E.T. Now. E.T. Now. He rented out a restaurant for a private party with him and his friends after the win last night. She said, uh, according to this, the two were very affectionate with one another, but kept things fun and lighthearted. I don't know what that means. <laughs> <laughs> Let me just tell you something. Which means someone's in the friend Let zone. Let me tell yeah. you something. Yeah. I just want to say this. That's, I just want to say this. That's what that means. Could you imagine? I couldn't imagine the pressure. The absolute pressure. Could you imagine, Mike, let's just say this. Again, you're, you're the single man here. What if you had to give a comment on how a date went after every date that you have? Somebody's calling your representation. Let's say RES Consulting is your representation. Yep. Mike, how did things go in that in that bar in that spot last night with this oh, person you're making great. you're making cryptic <laughs> cryptic Instagram <laughs> comments about? How did oh. things go? Was it fun? Was it lighthearted? It was good. Are you quietly <laughs> hanging out? Are you loudly hanging out? That's true. I mean, my I'm goodness, a quiet guy. as if he doesn't Thank have enough quiet. attention on him on, from NFL defenses. Great question. But what do you think's gonna happen? I don't care. This it's is gonna, great. Of course, it's going to bring more attention. The only person, the only group of people who are actually upset about this yesterday have to be those in the NFL front office who are in charge of making the announcement of who's performing at the Super Bowl halftime show because Usher was announced yesterday and that wasn't even on anybody's radar screen about Big time musical performing acts and the NFL. It was all about what was going on in Arrowhead. This is just to show you just how completely burrowed into our national psyche and pop culture psyche this is. It's even filtered into Bill Belichick's world. <laughs> right. He commented about this on local radio in Boston on Monday. 
Swifty to Swifty, uh, Taylor Swift was in attendance to watch Travis Kelsey's game with his mom in the box. Seems like they may be the new it couple. Where do you fall on that? <laughs> Travis Kelsey, Taylor Swift, power couple in the NFL. Well, I would say that Travis Kelsey's had a lot. Kelsey's had a lot of big catches in his career. <laughs> <laughs> this would be the biggest. <laughs> Nailed it. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, Loving him was red. There you go. Bill knows. Bill knows. And you may not know, but you know, I've got my finger on the pulse according to gossip pages. I'm a source. Source. Oh, yeah. We're building empires here, Chris. I have been told they've actually been dubbed a couple with a nickname. Oh, jeez. Oh, boy. They're known as Telsey. Taylor and Kelsey. They're going to be shorthand referred to as Telsey, you know, in the same way there used to be Benifer, right? Benifer, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, that sort of married, stuff. Yeah. I know they're married now. I Benifer got, forever. I got a what's more likely already. They're apparently <laughs> known. They <laughs> will be known shorthanded from now on as Telsey. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> so yeah. get ready for it Maybe because uh, hopefully, Friday by the way, you likely. see it. Ready for it. Get ready for it because. Their next game is on NBC on Sunday Night Football. No question. We need to talk about that. No actually. question. No, what? Did you flex out of that? There's no way they're flexing out of it now if she's going to be there. No way. That's how bad things were for the Bears yesterday. She's not going to save a 40 point blowout. Right? Fox had Mahomes and Kelsey and Taylor Swift on their air and their A crew at the game, and they bagged out of it. That's how bad the Bears were yesterday. Catch the Rich Eisen Show every single day on the Roku channel, 12 to 3 Eastern, for free.